Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. <gasps> Hi. I had to refilm this intro because your girl has been on an emotional roller coaster. Today, it's one day before graduation, okay? There's a lot going on in my head. I didn't realize that physically, my body would be reacting the way it has been. Like, I just like, it like hit me like like out of nowhere i got sick i was like oh my god like it's graduation tomorrow like so i'm gonna keep that clip in anyway so you guys can see like we gonna keep it real here but i just want to give you a little prep for the video y'all this video we're gonna be talking i'm gonna answer a lot of your guys' questions about nursing school and my experience if you're a nurse right now or if you're in nursing school right now or if you're looking to go to nursing school i think this video has a lot of tea in it i'm not the blueprint my experience is not going to be your experience but i do want to give you some you know perspective on how i moved through this system and how it was for me how hard it was how you balance your social life and school like studying tips you know we hit the marks and also i'm leaving i'm linking two other videos down below how i balance social media and nursing school and the tea about working in a hospital those videos you guys i feel like are definitely really good to watch if you're curious at all about those topics and by the time you guys are seeing this video i'll actually be in cabo i'll actually be on vacay and make sure you guys like and subscribe if you want to see the cabo vlog next week like it's gonna be so fun it's five days i'm so excited since i'm not doing a graduation vlog i will be inserting clips in this video of the whole like ceremony and like our turn up after no <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys are curious to see how my graduation went and just to celebrate with me and like my family and stuff, make sure to stay tuned to the end. Without further ado, let's get into the actual intro of this video and then we'll get into some questions. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so crazy. <sighs> Should I even film this right now? I feel weird. Like, I want to cry. Why do I want to cry right now? What is going on? <sighs> I actually don't even have an, a grad outfit. My nails aren't done. My brows aren't done. And it's tomorrow. So I'm going to go do that first. And then I'll film this later. I think I need to, like, I don't know, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so what? Am I okay? Hi. <laughs> it's, like, three hours later, okay? I feel better. I got my grad stuff, got the little suit, I got two black dresses, and I got a little purse. My grandma got me a gift card for my birthday. I finally got to use it. So thanks, Ando. Hey guys, I'm feeling better. Got back from the nail salon. She snapped. She snapped. I love these nails. Like, I love gold love gold love the glitter love being extra like y'all know i don't play about my jewelry and my gold speaking of real quick before we get in this video i know y'all see my necklace this really cute it gives like stacked coin it looks like a stacked coin m right and i got my new thumb ring that's just shining out of this world i finally got to try some majuri have you guys heard of this brand if you haven't get up from under that rock okay <laughs> you guys know i don't play about my jewelry and I won't talk about any brand unless unless it's valid, okay? As you guys know, my staple, I just love a good gold mini hoop. So I got some fresh ones for grad. I got the set of hoops. And then I also, you guys see I have a hoop in my second hole with a little gem on it. Okay, we switching it up a little bit. The quality of these pieces, you guys, like so beautiful, so nice. I'm so excited to have this piece in my collection. And I love how long the necklace is because I like to layer. I'm gonna put the names of all the pieces on the screen because these are timeless, classic everyday pieces, which honestly are my favorite. I love a good statement necklace here and there, but to have your, your jewelry be fine and classy and simple and quality, they have so many different options for the metals as well. They got 14 karat gold, they have sterling silver, and I love when I found out like the majority team is 80% women. They know what's up. 
If you guys have been looking for a new jewelry brand that has just timeless, classic, beautiful, elegant pieces, I definitely recommend checking out my jewelry. And you guys can shop these pieces directly in my link down below and you get 10% off. Let me know what pieces you guys decide to try on the website. And without further ado, let's get into these pressing questions, okay? So I asked you guys on my Instagram, okay? Everyone get comfy because I'm gonna just spill the tea. I'm gonna keep it real. We're on the way out. I'm gonna keep it honest. Like, it's over. It's all said and done. I can really tell you how I feel about it like wow four years so a little background about me if this is your first time to my channel welcome so I just completed my four-year program at Rutgers to get your BSN your bachelor's in nursing and science bachelor's of science and nursing <laughs> okay there's Rutgers New Brunswick which is like the main school and there's Rutgers Camden which is a smaller campus but better price point for me and location you start applying and touring colleges the summer of junior year of high school. That's when I started and everyone was going on their college tours and like flying around just checking out the Ivy League schools and I was like, I'm so not motivated. I literally don't care. Like that was my mindset in high school. I was just like, I'm going to apply just to Rutgers and like that's what it is. If I get in, I get in. If I don't, I don't. But like I was like, I don't get in like what the fuck am I doing but also I was just like I'm not gonna think about it I was gonna have my hot girl summer thank god I got accepted so I would recommend that you do the four year if you're really trying to do nursing like full time for your life and also I think the pace of the four year program is really really good I can't imagine doing a two year program and like jamming everything in like whoa it already was a lot in itself over the four years um, there's also an accelerated program that you can take in a lot of colleges from Instagram if you guys aren't on my Instagram I do a lot of questions. I do a lot of polls I do a lot of this and that for my YouTube videos So if you guys don't follow me there, you know, you're missing out comment down below your position for this video Whether you just want to watch my my weekly upload and you have no interest in nursing. Hey, love you That's so sweet <laughs> or if you're interested in going to nursing school and like you're in high school right now and you're just like curious comment down below or if you're a nurse right now there's some people in the comments like just off my 12-hour shift like watching you and i'm like ah queen so let me know your position down below i got a lot of questions about the how hard it was how hard is it really on a scale of one to ten i think i'm gonna give you a general answer and then i'll break it down in further questions i would give it i would give it a seven i think college is about shaping you as a person i think has taught me so much more than just what I learned in the textbooks y'all it taught me how to be disciplined and dedicated learning time management I think all of those factors are just as important in nursing school as your book smarts you know what I'm saying but we'll get more into okay six or seven off the bat I actually want to tell you too about the classes that I took <laughs> yes I have the whole curriculum pulled up right now freshman okay we took anatomy Oh my gosh I loved anatomy a lot of people were asking about how to study for it girl you need to know it you need to know it anatomy as much as you want to fight it it is such an important course it is literally the foundation of the entire schooling uh, the entire four years okay I think if you really buckle down I know it's hard transitioning from high school to college if you really just find it in yourself to just buckle down and really learn that shit as much as you can it will help you out so much because you'll see it again and again and again all of your stuff is building it's like blocks it's blocks like you you scratch the surface in anatomy and the next time you learn about why this part affects this part and like you start small and you can just see the bigger picture okay i'm gonna show you some of my notes here are just some of my notebooks you guys this is literally just my senior year notebooks I like taking notes. Some people got their iPad with the Apple Pencil, right? Let's talk about studying. This will be the studying segment. Some people got their pens. Find what works for you. Um, out of my group of friends, you know, Autumn likes using Quizlet. That girl loves Quizlet. And like Quizlet was not my vibe. But she would get 100 on the test. And you know, I would get 100 on the test doing my own thing. So it's like, it's all about finding what works for you. But let me just give you a sneak peek. Let me try to find some good notes so I can flex my good notes for you. Ooh, psych. My psych notebook, it was so beautiful. And then my coffee spilled in my bag one day, bro. I was, so, I, <laughs> it's a lot of work, guys. Like, I think you just have to want, I think you just have to want it. For whatever reason you want it, you just have to want it and you can do it. That's how I feel. I knew I was going to college. There was no way that I wasn't graduating college. Like, it was not a question. 
I am the first gen, bro. My parents, like, they instilled in me, they were like, Oh yeah, college? That is your middle name. Like, so yeah, this is just my psych notebook. And I'll just give you a little example of what worked for me. Blue is like the title, right? Same thing with my agenda book. Like I have like kind of like a framework. Green is kind of like the overhead title. Yellow is like small details. Pink is like subtitles, right? Orange is like vocab. I just have a system that worked for me all the years. And that's what I would follow by. I need to find my anatomy notes because that's when I was like fresh in the game and I was like, yes. Here is my complex notes, right? Yeah, complex health this is what I took last semester. Oh my God. <laughs> I think this was this semester. I, oh, I'm still using this one. Yeah, I'm using this one right now to study for my NCLEX. Pharmacology, y'all, I had a lot of highlighting for this one. What I recommend for farm is like, learn it <laughs> like every i know it's ugh, there's so many things how am i gonna summarize my whole nursing thing in like one video it's so crazy first semester of nursing is what i took anatomy organic biochem english intro to psychology love psych and the intro to psych is like scratching the surface so, so that was fun and then we end up taking psych again senior year but it's like psych and nursing so it's like a whole different thing and like that was the tea. I fucking love that class. Like the mental, the brain, that's just so interesting to me. And like to learn about all the personality disorders and like the mental grip. I was into that class. The teacher was another. Teachers and class. Oh, oh my God. There's so much I can talk about. Genetics. It's really not that deep. They try to like sprinkle questions here and there. And I'm like, dude, but you do need to know like autosomal dominant. That's basically the only thing you really need to know. Out of the whole entire genetics, it's right. You need to know if it's dominant or recessive, and if your parents can pass it or if they can't. Nutrition, bro, they be asking some questions nowadays. I'm like, I'm not gonna know. I'm not a nutritionist. Stop asking me what foods have potassium. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you a banana, and you're gonna go. Like, that's. Tell me another food that has potassium in it. Uh, I don't know. I should, but like nutrition, bro. Some classes it feels like very common sense, but then there's things that like they'll ask you and you're like, wait, I don't know, but I feel like I do. But if you tell me like I do know, it's weird. Nutrition is one of those classes. Microbiology, this is sophomore year. Microbiology, my fave class. I love that class. The teacher was dope. The relationship between teacher and class material is so important. And like some teachers will make or break you. It's really unfortunate sometimes where it's like, you so would have passed if you took this teacher. And also I wouldn't even recommend to go on like those like rate my professor. I wouldn't even recommend to go on those. I've never done that before because I think people's opinion, like you need to form your own opinion on someone and how you like their teaching because everyone hated this teacher and everyone hated the anatomy teacher. And like people like to tell you bad things. You should know that in life. People find common ground on negativity, honestly. <laughs> And like, it's cool to get other people's opinion on their teaching style, how they, how their material relates to the test, but not really about their experience. I don't know. I think it's very personal, your experience with learning material. Oh my gosh, research, bro. I, we just take an evidence-based research class. I'm like, I just hate, I hate English. I hate papers. I hate theses and hypotheses. And I hate that shit. <laughs> I'm a math and science girl. I feel like you're either history and English or you're math and science. And I'm math and science. And like the history and the English can go, can go. Pathophysiology, good class. You learn about all the disease processes on top of the anatomy. So we learn the anatomy and how the body should function, right? And then you learn about pathophysiology, which is like the disease processes. You learn the sciences like freshman and sophomore year. At the end of sophomore year into junior year is when you start actually learning about nursing stuff. Honestly, I loved freshman and sophomore year because it was just like, I love science. I thought it was so cool to learn about our bodies. Like we all have that in common, y'all. We all have bodies that do the same crazy fucking awesome things. Like that was just so insane to me. I would go home and be like, wow, like my eyes are so complex. Like the aqueous humor inside, just like the, the perfect pressure in my eyeball. So like it doesn't deflate or like <laughs> explode. And like 
my skin just doing like this fucking like ion transfer all day from like the sun and like fucking chemically processing the fucking vitamins and stuff like I was so into it like I loved learning that stuff so this is when labs start coming in um, microbiology had a lab which was fun we did like bacteria and shit love that wellness and health these there's a lot of like foundational classes that kind of like mold your nursing knowledge it's so cool seeing how it came together like four years later like wow it all came together yes I'm in nursing school yes I'm about to graduate and be a nurse like get my license and stuff but also like social media is my career um I guess we could just get into that topic as of right now I plan my next steps are to just pass my NCLEX which is the big test to get your license after you graduate right the last semester of nursing school is basically just prep for the test it's like questions and questions and questions and questions just practice 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 which honestly I, I think makes so much sense but at first it caught me off guard because I'm just like what are, well, what are we studying it wasn't studying it was like practicing and I was just like okay well we don't really have homework it was just weird it was a weird transition from like studying my ass off for like test study test study learn receive understand decompress test to like just testing your raw brain <laughs> So that's my next steps. Um, they recommend eight to ten weeks to study for it after you graduate. So I'm gonna take that time and I want to take it as soon as I can. Um, there's actually kind of like a gap in between like when you can actually take it from the application process and everything through like school. You have to apply to take your NCLEX and like they have to review it and accept it and then let you choose a date months after. So right now it's looking like I'm taking it like the end of July. So between now, which is May, and then I'm gonna study U World questions and like the ATI. Those are two resources that I'm gonna use to study and like honestly the two that have prevailed. ATI, you guys, I don't know if every single program uses it, but I'm pretty sure it's like the nationwide kind of like nursing thing. ATI is fire. ATI is the blueprint. ATI I fought for the first like three years because I thought like it was gonna go away. I thought it was something that like we just like would do one semester and then like the next semester like log into your ATI and I'm like okay next semester they're like now we're gonna go into ATI and I'm like okay so this bitch is not going anywhere here we are like senior year I'm like wait like this has been the blueprint the whole time and I, I've learned like everything through it it's crazy so if you have ATI and you're in the beginning of your program and stuff take it seriously really take it seriously I put so many hours into that thing it's crazy I wonder if I could total it all. It probably was like, it probably would be a year. It probably, like all the remediations I've had to do through them take like eight hours in itself. Ooh, ATI, man. U World is fire. U World makes me feel good. ATI makes me feel dumb as fuck. <laughs> so that's how I'm gonna study for my NCLEX. And I'm honestly pretty fucking scared. My clinical experience, I can't even, I can't even give you that much insight because I had the COVID year which was supposed to be my first round of clinicals and I was so happy honestly I shouldn't have been but I was so fucking nervous for clinical that when I found out it was canceled and I didn't have to go I like literally had a field day and it was just like virtual but also it was like maternity and peds clinical and like I really wanted to see what that was like but also I was just relieved because I was so scared but now that I took clinical just like the med surge basically just the med surge clinicals and they were not bad at all it really depends on the instructor guys like if you have a really cool awesome helpful amazing instructor which i had last semester you guys saw some of that in my weekly vlog i told them i told you guys crazy stories about my catheter when i put the catheter in stuff like if you have a good teacher that pushes you and like is there for you and like helps you and wants to see you win and like is cool i'm happy for you and like i didn't know anything about any of my instructors i would just pull up on the first day and just pray that they weren't like a stickler. Everyone, let me see your nails. Has a nail clipper, they're like, she's like, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> or like, you're not wearing patent leather shoes. You're wearing shoes that can absorb any bodily fluid. So you need to go home and you failed today. Like, I was just scared I was gonna have someone like that. But I really lucked out with my teachers. Um, but I heard, I had a great experience in clinical. It's just like, I thought originally it was gonna be 12 hours but they ended up being around six hours each and you're just being helpful you're just being helpful and you're learning and they know your students and they won't throw you to the wolves you're not expected to be a nurse they they wouldn't want you to nurse their patients or else they <laughs> they would be fucked 
So it's really a learning experience. Don't be scared. I was so nervous. If you're hella nervous, I'm I'm not mad at you because I was so nervous. But I'm letting you know, big sis, I went through it. Like you don't have to do that. You don't have to. Even this last semester, when I literally a couple weeks ago when I first was going to mine, I was like, <sighs> but we survived, and it really was chill. It really is chill. Like you're just learning. Hey. Notice anything different? Got my brows done, went and picked up Gabriel, just had dinner. I needed a second. This video is taking me a whole entire day to film. Graduation is very overwhelming. There's a lot going on, especially the fact that I decided to prep everything the day before. It's definitely a roller coaster of emotions. If any of you guys are graduating right now, congratulations. I'm sure you can relate, because like, it's a lot to handle. I've been going to school. Oh my God, my stomach just flipped. I've been going to school for like, like 20 years. <laughs> Someone said I just finished term one and I'm so scared for the rest. What tips do you have? I will tell you that I was nervous as fuck every single time, every single semester, every single start of a new class, new chapter, new anything. Cause like, obviously you're anticipating the worst, but I will say I surprise myself every single time. And I know no matter how many times you do it, you're going to be like, well, this one's different. Well, what if this one is harder? Well, what about this? And what about that? And we're going to do that every single time. But I bet you're going to surprise yourself. You are so much smarter than you think you are. We are survivors. That's what a human is supposed to do is survive and thrive. Just know that everything happens for a reason. And most of the time, it's a good thing. Study tips for farm. I'm still trying to understand. I'm still trying to learn. Farm is hard. And I graduated and I it, farm is still hard and I still don't know all the medications and I don't think we're supposed to know all the medications. I think you have so many resources as a nurse that they don't really tell you about like you think you're supposed to just know everything but there's so many resources. Even your coworkers are so helpful. You're not alone. You're not alone. And if you ever doubt yourself or question yourself like holla at your girl. Holla at your girl in the bed next door. That's like the number one question um, was balancing social media and nursing school. I did a whole entire video on it. It was a while ago, it was before my YouTube was even on like the radar. So if you guys wanna check it out, I linked it. It's the top link in the description, okay? I just wanna say that the number one thing that people try to say about nursing school is that you can't have a life. That just irritates me because I wish I could just have a megaphone and be like, bro, can you guys stop? <laughs> like all you nursing students stop saying you don't have time to do anything because you have time to do whatever you want to do you got to just make sure you time manage manage and prioritize what you want and if you want to have a fun weekend then you need to make sure you get your homework done before friday and if you want to do this then you need to make sure that you wake up early because there's so many days there's so many hours in the day and if you want to get shit done and you want to do that then you better make it happen you can make it happen <laughs> that was a megaphone because oh nursing school i don't have time for anything i don't have time for this i don't have time for that i'm like and here i am like friday saturday sunday doing everything i want to do because i prioritize all my homework to be done by like done by friday morning and like okay if you have friday class then like get it done before then so like when you will when you leave school your shit is done like i don't know there's always a disconnect for me there like when other people would just be like my thing was that my weekends I need my weekends. That is a priority to me. And like with social media, it's been leaking into the weekend every single weekend and I need to figure that out. But also I still will make time for things I want to do even if like, even if you're busy every single day of the week, I feel like nighttime, nighttime is always available. I always find time to be a little hood rat at night. But it is so doable you guys. You have to just really, I am an avid planner. And it's all personal. Everything I'm saying in this video is personal. And like, that's why I like kind of stray away from giving advice because what works for me is not always gonna work for you, you know? But I have gone through a planner every single year, every single year. I literally have them because they're so special to me and I put so much time and I build such a connection to them and blocking out time. And don't deter from it unless you need to. Like on Monday from 8 a.m. to like noon, if I'm, if I'm gonna finish my homework so that after that I can get my nails done and after that I can go to the gym, then I'm gonna wake up at 8 a.m. and get that done because I wanna go get my nails done and I wanna go to the gym. And if I know tomorrow that my body needs rest and I'm stringing myself out, I'm gonna let myself sleep in, have my coffee, 
watch an episode of my favorite show, then get to homework, you know? And then maybe I can't go to the gym that day, but like, it's just give and take. I just wanna say it's possible. It's so possible to have a life, bro. And yeah, it's kind of jam packed. Yeah, my schedule is like, I'm glad that I'm graduating now because I even mentioned like, I don't think I could have done another year. If I was a junior and I knew I was graduated, if I was graduating in one year, I don't know if I could have done it. If you want to start social media, you can so balance it. I think my scale of work, I don't want to scare you guys. I think I'm just like, my scale of work is just crazy. If I was starting from scratch, like I did last year, I started from scratch last year in February. And like, it was for fun. It was pure fun. And like, that was a priority to me. So like, I made sure I had time to edit and film stuff that I wanted to. And like, sometimes I would be editing instead of doing my homework. And like, sometimes my grade would suffer from it. And sometimes life just happens, girl. But like, do what you, make time for things that you love. I'm, if you watch my other video, I say the same shit, bro, okay? What are your two degrees? Did you receive a BSN and a certification of some, some sort? So you get your bachelor's degree when you graduate. Then you get your license, which is the RN, BSN, which makes it like RN when you have your license. And then you can also get certified. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a two year process to get your like expertise basically in any kind of like, so like if I wanted to be like a certified labor delivery nurse, I would do like a two year like course specified, like an extra, like you, I'm pretty sure you're studying obviously just like, the tea about it and I wanted to do that at some point I wanted to do that like that was my goal was to be L and D but also you're more liable like you have higher liability because like you're supposed to be an expert bitch and like if you fuck up then like you were the expert like why did you fuck up <laughs> so there's always another level of like responsibility there but honestly I think my goal a lot of people ask too like what are you doing like are you still gonna be a nurse or are you gonna do just content creation that was like my number one question I'm taking one step at a time, baby. I'm taking you know, one step at a time, baby. So next step is to pass the NCLEX. And like, I know I'm gonna pass it. That's how you gotta say it. I know I'm gonna pass it. But obviously it's natural to doubt yourself and be scared. And like, part of me is just like, I just wanna do that first. I'm gonna try to have fun this summer, but also like stay in my books and then pass that at the end of July. So once I do that, we'll see, we'll see. I think social media can definitely be full-time for me. I think that's where my passion really is right now. I think that's the thing too, is like, do things you're passionate about. And my dad's calling me. <laughs> I feel like I'll never be satisfied in saying everything I want. I could talk all day about this. Let me just give you my final hurrah about nursing school. I feel like I'm dragging this really long. What you need to pass nursing school, what you need to survive and get through nursing school is dedication, discipline and like the drive i'll give it I'll, I'll name three three d's and also it's very important to have friends and like support like y'all gonna be besties but like people you can text what is due tonight girl How, what chapter is this like you need people to lean on i don't think i could have done it without study groups here's my blueprint if you want to look over extra material here's my blueprint here's my quizlet like lean on your friends help your friends it's a team effort. It's like, I think that's very important. Support, believe in yourself. That's, believe in yourself. Stress yourself out a little bit. You can't be too laid back in nursing school. Yes, you can party. Yes, you can go out. Yes, you can have fun. Yes, you can do it. Clinical, I mean, you get your work in in clinical, but you'll never feel ready enough. I definitely don't think we had enough hours in clinical before, like, if I was going out to like, just be a nurse right now, I would be terrified. <laughs> and also I worked as a tech for a little bit and I did a lot of ass wiping, a lot of bed changing, a lot of repositioning, a lot of favors. Like you have, you have to be a helpful person. You have to like want to help people like, or else you're just gonna be irritated. Cause I really, I really, it made me feel so good just to bring this lady water or to fix this person's socks or to help this man to the bathroom. Like that shit made me feel good. Like when I walk out the room and they're like, thank you. And I'm like, you're welcome. I would do it again. Like, ew, not me getting to <laughs> Not me fucking crying. But like these people need your help. And like, you need to want that. So like, let's do some self-evaluation. It's, it's a very selfless job. Now I'm gonna add some grad footage. If you guys wanna see some like grad festivities, y'all. Cause 
obviously it's only fair to add some footage for everyone to like share that moment with me and like so I can look back at it and just be like, oh, wow, this is so crazy. So weird I'm graduating, dude. Hey, it's graduation morning. There's Anna. Anna, I'm out here hotboxing. <laughs> hey, Beyonce. It's grad day. We fucking did it. We're waiting on Angie and Irene. Of course they're late. That's just their personality trait. It's eight o'clock now. Irene said she's gonna be here at 8.30. Like, bitch, we gonna be across the stage. That's how you get here. <laughs> yes, Irene, fashionably late. Her, your hair looks beautiful. You look so good. Oh, very much. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know we were recording. I'll just put on that buxom gloss. Buxom, all time. That shit looks good. Pick it up. Dang, I got on the Dior one. Hey, Anna. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. Irene. Aww. Don't Dang, say that. Like, you I won't let you go miss us. Like, you're never gonna see us again. I'm gonna miss you guys at 8 a.m. with the crust in our eyes. But y'all, my feet are ready. No. We're busting out these heels, but. Don't play with me. You got it. No, I hope. Oh, you okay, good. <laughs> Strong as hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't take pictures on this thing. <laughs>
tuberculosis, <laughs> and varicella. What medication would you give to decrease intracranial pressure? Uh, mannitol. Period. Period. I already know, but mannitol for sure. I know that. Give me two yeah. priorities for post op care. Um, priorities bleeding. Uh huh. And um, <laughs> um, weekend pulse. <laughs> a weekend. A weekend. A weekend pulse. A circulation. Week Exactly. DVT. Per. Ambulation. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if a person has oh, yellow eyes and oh. has an increased use of alcohol, what does he have? Uh, hepatic encephalopathy. No. Yeah, that's it. Bitch, I got you waiting. Call me Big Hey. Hi. What's up, dude? You did it, my guy. <laughs> Our little post grad lunch. We are roasting the sun right now. Ciao. My ass is hot. Rosie, hi. What's up, vlog? Hey, vlog. Congratulations. Thanks, Tim. Hi. Hi. Love you. Love you. Everyone's favorite, Dahlia. Ooh. Everyone's like, can I? Can you link her Thank channel you. below? Yes. Um, you have a channel yet? Not yet. Yeah. We're working soon. on it. Yeah. yeah. It takes time. That's what I'm saying. Hi. Hi. I just want to say thank you. And I'm so happy that we did this together. We and did this. it's all of us. And thank you for being my patient and my dummy patient <laughs> and letting me poke around on you and do a neuro assessment. And Gabriel, thank you for believing in me and supporting Always. me. Always. Oh, Always. love it. We you. love you. Yes. No, a B. <laughs> <laughs> Our part of the day is coming to a close, so. I'm about to turn it. Yeah. Eat out of it. <laughs> like, hey, I have a lot. I have that big selfie of all of us. You want that one? I don't think I sent it to you. We have this one. These ones. Oh my god, yeah. And then I have. From after graduation, I have that one. I got the, where's the selfie of all of us? Remember after? Oh yeah, the one you Here, you wanna look through mine? Yeah. Send some stuff. Yo, I've been at the pier for like a few hours, hanging in the hammocks. Look at my cousins. Are we in Harbor Park? Yeah. No, we're not. This is Harbor Park? Yes. <laughs> Wait, I'm kidding. I knew it was Harbor Park. It's right there. No, it's I'm Harbor fucking Park. kidding. I knew it was Harbor Park. Okay. <laughs> I was literally just playing with you. No. I'm <laughs> lying. <laughs> lying. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm not from Philly. I know. It's cool. What do you want me to do? You about it? Oh, you be like you don't come down here at all. <laughs> I don't go to Jersey. Waiting on Ani and Ari. They're pulling up. We like to see you. That's the same place. Okay. I was like, 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 I was I can't. I can't think of that, but I do know that if you're it's like in Mexico too. They have like chains. Because they have some. Is it like something like that though? You guys talk about Bella. Like Barcelo, yeah. It's the same as Ibero store. It's just the company of like that. So yeah, so they have multiple chains. Yeah. Yes, I want to try to because it's the same product. Cheers! I love you. Congratulations! I love you all so much. I'm so happy we're together. So excited! Love you guys. It looks good. Oh, hi, big man. Oh. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Thank you.
sure to check the other videos down below if you guys want more tea on this. I feel like I'll definitely do another sit down video talking about it. Probably like when I'm studying. Probably when I'm studying for the NCLEX. I'll definitely do some more nurse talks. I still have a lot of questions I want to answer and like, I just want to have a conversation. Maybe I'll go on live or something and talk about it. Don't forget to check out my jewelry with their beautiful little hoops and this really nice necklace and the ring, babe. They have such good options for all different styles of jewelry. Very beautiful, quality, quality pieces. Okay, check my link down below if you guys want to shop there and get 10% off, period. And y'all better get excited for the Cabo vlog because that's the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this long ass video. I hope I answered any of the questions you guys had. And congrats if you graduated. You got this if you're trying to go to nursing school. And I'll see you guys in the next video.